Well, I thought I'd uh, shoot some video of the, my uh, $50 Rust-Oleum paint job that I'm doing. You can see I got the bed over there uh, for my uh, 77 C10 truck. I've got it in primer. And right here, I've got uh, one of the fenders. Now this is the fender that I've, um, I did the uh, spare tire notch. And I've got, uh, I think, 14 videos of uh, fabricating this uh, little dimple in here so I can mount my spare tire on the side. Uh, Anyway, you can watch those videos if you want, but basically all I did was I used, this is all Rust-Oleum paint, uh, even the primer. This is uh, the safety red, and then I've got flat white. Uh, uh, here's a little insert. And I've got the other fender over there against the fence just because I ran out of a, a little saw horses to uh, set these on because I've got two of them under the bed there. So uh, I used uh, an HVLP gun. Uh, to spray this I didn't use a lot of guys like to use the rollers uh, I tried that I didn't like the finish so I just used my little Harbor Freight HVLP gun and uh, I will say this does take this uh, enamel rust-oleum does take longer to dry um, it's dry to the touch within about uh, an hour depending on the outside temperature uh, but uh, I sprayed these it was about 80 degrees outside uh, it took about 45 minutes to an hour uh, to be dry to the touch. Now, it was still wet, um, still soft, I should say, uh, for quite a while, for actually several weeks. Uh, I could come in here and I could press my fingernail and make a little divot uh, in the paint. Uh, it was still soft. So it does take a few weeks to really uh, harden up and dry and fully cure. Um, but, it, you know... If you got a lot of panels to do, then uh, then you got time. Uh, but it is dry to the touch within about an hour, depending on your uh, outside temperature. So I'll come over here to the bed, and this is clearly a uh, from the fender you just saw. This is clearly a step side bed. Now, typically these are uh, almost entirely bolted together. These bed sides bolt to the bulkhead. Uh, the bed sides bulk to this rear sill plate. Well, it was really kind of a pain in the butt. And so I just took the time and actually welded it all up. Uh, down here in this area, I, uh, there's two holes. There's one that there's a captured nut on the sill plate. So there's one where you just take the bolt and thread it in. There's another hole uh, somewhere down in here that's just a blind hole. It's a hole uh, through the bedside panel uh, and through this rear uh, sill plate this real sill panel and you just take a regular uh, nut and bolt and uh, stick it in there But what I actually did is I came in and drilled an extra hole down here and an extra hole up here and plug welded uh, This area and it's on both sides so even on this side of the fender. There's uh, a bolt There's a captured nut attached to the plate, and then there's just a blind hole uh, Just a straight through hole, but you put a nut and bolt again. I did two extra holes, one up high, one down low to put plug welds in. And I only drilled through this panel, not through the sill plate. And then I welded up the original bolt holes. And then what I did is I welded uh, the cross members to the bed sides. And I actually added this, um, this one by one, it's a 14 gauge wall steel tubing that is actually plug welded from the outside of the bed here, drilled a few holes and plug welded at the length. And it actually does give it some nice strength. And that's especially gonna be handy over here on the on the driver's side uh, where I'm gonna be mounting my uh, spare tire. So that helps a lot. And I also welded in, these, these are one by two uh, with a 14 gauge uh, wall thickness. And I welded these in and then, of course, using carriage bolts, drilled a hole and then took a file and squared it off for the carriage bolts. Uh, and then I did have to fabricate new wood panels to go in between there. Those are actually over here. On these saw horses, they're getting a clear coat put on them. These are cedar boards. It's just, uh, I had my dad help me with these. He had these laying around. Uh, so, cut them to length did everything and then we put them through the planer, made sure they were all the same size because these were a, a rough cut from a, a full log. 
Uh, so these weren't store bought. And there's four here. There's three more over here. Uh, I think this is about two coats of uh, polyurethane uh, coating on this. And we'll probably do uh, several more. I got a whole gallon. And uh, I've only used up about uh, maybe a fifth of the gallon. So I got plenty left. So I'll probably do quite a bit uh, on here. And so, so anyway, that's that. And uh, so now I'll get started. I'll show you, uh, I'm going to put some uh, red, uh, some red paint on the bed. And I'll show you how I kind of do all my mixing and everything.